the idea that Republicans care about election integrity in D.C. is a joke. Just two years ago, I was barricaded in my office right here in D.C. This is the party of insurrection whose supporters attacked the Capitol in an attempt to overthrow what? A democratic election. Stop trampling on their lives. Stop trampling on their freedoms. Stop trampling on our democracy. Stop holding D.C. hostage and let Congress once and for all grant the people of D.C. what they've been long demanding, statehood. When Republicans talk about election integrity, they're really talking about voter suppression. They're talking about carrying on the legacy of slavery and Jim Crow by actively disenfranchising black and brown communities through legislation like the American Confidence and Elections Act to undermine voter access and fair and impartial election administration. And they're talking about maintaining anti-democratic control over DC, which has had a significant black population since its creation was majority black from the late 1950s through 20, the 2011 and remains majority non-white. The United States is the only democracy in the world that denies the residents of its capital voting representation in the national legislature. DC residents have been demanding voting representation in Congress for more than 200 years. And in a 2016 referendum, 86% of DC residents voted for statehood. Republicans want to pretend that DC statehood is a power grab for the Democrats, a power grab for the Democratic Party. They say it's a political a ploy to gain seats in the Senate. But that doesn't, it just doesn't really make sense. So Ms. Weiser, if DC became a state, will Republicans be forbidden from running in its congressional elections? Absolutely not. Ah, okay, so they can still run. Okay, got it. Um, let me ask you, Ms. Weiser, in a democracy, should political rights be controlled, um, be conditioned on who voters might elect? Uh, no, absolutely not. That would be inappropriate. It would be inappropriate. Thank you. So DC statehood is not about one party or the other. It's about freedom. And it's about political self-determination. It's about overcoming the white supremacist violence of voter suppression in this here historically black city. It's about the voices of real people whose lives and whose struggles matter. So Republicans should stop the hypocrisy Again, I remember being barricaded in my office trying to figure out how to protect my staff. And my words were, if they come to this door, we bang into the end. And I meant that if you touch my staff, because they didn't sign up for this. They didn't sign up to be in a position to where their bodies are on the line. They signed up to do a work for the people of St. Louis. So stop the hypocrisy. Stop talking about don't tread on me when that's exactly what that party is doing to the people of DC.